The Russian army is 10 kilometers from Pokrovsk and 6 from neighboring Mirnograd. According to the acting Mirnograd city military administration, Yuri Tretyak, there are still about 20,000 people left in the city. Among them are a 1,000 children who are regularly shelled by the Russian army. Local authorities in Mirnograd are preparing to defend the city, and pyramidal anti-tank obstacles have already been ordered. However, the Ukrainian armed forces are not given to let the Russian army approach the city so easily. <laughs> The enemy has entered a direction such as Zhivanne. Nearby settlements have been completely destroyed. But we are conducting counterattacks entering these territories where there is nothing left. We are shattering them. And when the enemy appears in these sectors, we launch a wave of strikes. We continue to destroy them, destroy the reserves that are being pulled up in the same Pokrovsk direction. The Ukrainian army daily repels dozens of Russian assaults in the Donetsk region. Despite the reduction in the number of equipment, the Russian command continues massive attacks, sending a large number of personnel to Ukrainian positions. The 110th Separate Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian army spoke about the new tactics used by the Russians. If at first they went in assault groups of 10 people at a time, and we dealt with them both with FPV drones and artillery, then they divided into fives and began to leave. But now it's just two-person groups who go. They do this simultaneously in ten directions. That is, ten pairs go in ten directions. Ivan Sekach, head of media relations for the 110th Separate Mechanist Brigade, named after Marko Bezruchko, in an interview with Radio NV. The advance of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region forced Russia to transfer units there to strengthen the defense, noted the spokesperson for the Tavri Operational Group of Ukraine. According to him, there were previously many Russian troops in the Dnipro direction, and during that period the assaults were less intense. However, analysts from the American Institute for the Study of War believe that Moscow is unlikely to be ready to withdraw its units from the Donetsk region yet. Russian military command is pulling select elements of Russian irregular units from Donetsk Oblast to address the Ukrainian incursion in Kursk Oblast, but will likely be extremely averse to pulling Russian military units engaged in combat from priority sectors in Donetsk Oblast out of concerns about slowing the tempo of Russian operations in these areas. From the ISW report. The enemy is not removing additional forces that could strengthen their positions in the Kursk direction, so the situation in the Toresk direction is now very difficult, and near Ukraine, New York is also very complicated. We are striking with fire weapons in those areas where the enemy is trying to come in from the flanks or further create some conditions for semi-encirclement. We are maneuvering, reaching fortified areas. On August the 6th, Ukrainian soldiers entered the territory of the Kursk region. According to the Ukrainian commander-in-chief, Kyiv already has under control about 8,000 square kilometers of Russian territory. As the Financial Times writes, the success of the Ukrainian operation in the Kursk region depends on two factors, whether it will be able to divert Russian resources from the Donetsk region and whether Ukraine will be able to hold its positions in the region. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Nikita Skoblikov, UATV News.